All right, we're going to work through a couple more examples of solving exponential equations. Again, if you can get these guys to have the same base, that's great, but a lot of these, it's just not going to work. So 4 and 6 don't have a common base, so what we're going to do is that we're going to apply logarithms on both sides. So I'm going to put the, or apply the natural log over here, so natural log of 4 to the x equals the natural log of 6 to the x minus 7. And the way you know to use logarithms is when you have your variables and the powers and you can't come up with a common base. Because now, this x is going to come out in front, and over here, the x minus 7 is going to come out in front by using that property of logarithms. So we get x times the natural log of 4 equals, don't forget your parentheses, x minus 7 times the natural log of 6. See, the problem that we're going to run into now is that we have two instances of the variable. So let's go ahead and multiply on the right side. So you're going to distribute this natural log of 6. So it's x times the natural log of 6 minus 7 times the natural log of 6. When it comes down to you having multiple variables, get all of those variable terms on one side, and anything that doesn't contain x needs to go on the other side. So this is the only, the only piece that doesn't contain x, so let him stay here and move this to the other side. So this goes to the other side, and we're going to have x natural log 4 minus x times the natural log of 6 equals negative 7 natural log 6. And now here's the big trick that we use. You have x here and here. That means x is a common factor. And since it's a common factor, we're going to pull that out, factor it out, and you have the natural log of 4 minus the natural log of 6. You may think that this is complicating things, but now instead of having x in two different variables, we only have it in one spot right here. And the way that we can get rid of everything so that x is just by itself, we recognize that this is a product. We recognize that natural log 4 minus natural log 6 is just a number. So we can divide both sides of the equation by that group, like this. And so now we have x totally by itself. So let's rewrite that up here. So x is all that's left on the left side. On the right side we have a big fraction, negative 7 times natural log 6 over natural log 4 minus the natural log of 6. So this is going to be your exact value. But like we were talking about, we also want to talk about what would be the decimal approximation. Can we type this into our calculators and come up with a, with a good value? Remember to use parentheses for your numerator and your denominator. Okay, and Let's see what we can come up with. Alright, so big parentheses and I have negative, make sure you do negative and not, don't do the minus key. Uh, 7 natural log 6 close the log, close the numerator, divide by, open up parentheses for your denominator, natural log of 4, close the log, then minus natural log of 6, close the natural log of 6, close the denominator. Don't close the denominator too soon or you're not going to get the right answer. And we come up with this. So x is approximately 30.933. So let's see if that works. Okay, I'm going to take 30.933, store that into x, and now we're going to see if the left and the right hand sides of the equation end up being the same decimal value. So if I do 4 raised to the x, I get this number, 4.2 times 10 to the 18th. 
let's try this. 6 raised to the group, so parentheses, x minus 7. Although I don't get the exact same value, it's really, really close. 4.2 times 10 to the 18th, it's off by a little bit right here. But for the most part, we're, we're good. These guys are the same. So yay, I've got the right answer. The calculator didn't do my work. The calculator checked my work. All right, let's do one more guy. Oh my goodness, this is gross. What are we gonna do? Well, since you have variables in the, in the power, and three and seven don't have a common base, we need to take the log of both sides. Common log, natural log, it doesn't matter, but it has to be the same. So I'm gonna do the natural log like I've been doing. So three to the five x plus two equals, let's do the natural log over here, natural log of seven to the three x minus four. So we've got a few more pieces to worry about, but the process is still the same. You're taking the log of both sides so that the powers can come out in front using the properties of logarithms. When those powers come out in front, please make sure you remember to put them in groups, put them in parentheses. So 5x plus 2 times the natural log of 3 equals the group 3x minus 4 times the natural log of 7. And just like the last example, let's go ahead and distribute everything. It's going to look gross, just make sure that you copy things correctly. So 5x natural log of 3 plus 2 times the natural log of 3. And then over here, that's 3x times the natural log of 7 minus 4 times the natural log of 7. A lot of stuff, but make sure you pay attention to the fact that your variable is here and here. So what we want to do is we want to move our terms so that all the variables are on the same side and the constants are on the other side. So I'm going to move this guy over here because if I move him over I'm going to have both the x's on the left side and when I do that I should move this straight up constant term to the other side. Make sure you pay attention to your signs when you do this. So this is 5x natural log of 3. This is going to come over as a negative, so negative 3x natural log of 7. Over here, I already had negative 4 natural log of 7. And when I move this over, it becomes a minus now 2 natural log of 3. All right. Now, just like the last problem, we put all of the x terms on the same side so that we can factor the x out of those terms. So this becomes x times 5 natural log of 3 minus 3 natural log of 7. And the reason we wanted to factor the x out so that we can finally get x by itself because this guy, no matter how ugly it is, is just a number. So I can divide both sides by this monstrosity. And when we do this, we now have an exact value for our solution. So x equals Big fraction, negative 4 natural log of 7 minus 2 natural log of 3 over 5 natural log of 3 minus 3 natural log of 7. This is exact. We just now need to find the approximation. All right, let's be smart about this. We know I need big parentheses for numerator and denominator. Keep that in mind. All right, so here we go. I said big parentheses. 
this is negative 4, natural log of 7, close the parentheses on the 7, minus 2, natural log of 3, close the log, close the numerator, divide by, well, I've got to open up the denominator with parentheses. So 5, natural log of 3, close that guy, minus 3, make sure you guys can see that, minus 3, natural log 7. Close the natural log, close the denominator. Make sure you closed all your parentheses correctly. You have parentheses here for the natural log to open and close it, open and close that one for all these guys, so that's good. And you've got the big parentheses for the numerator and also for what you have here in the denominator. And let's see what we get. 28.958. So 28.95A is my approximation. All right, so 28.958. Let's store that into x and let's check our work. So here at the very beginning, let's see if the left and the right sides are the same. 3 raised to the group 5x plus 2. So, yeah, the big number times 10 to the 70th. Let's do the other side. 7 raised to the group 3x minus 4. And I get pretty much the same thing. They're both times 10 to the power of 70. 1.088, 1.088. They're off by a little bit, but again, we did round. But I do know this is exact, and this is my approximation, and the calculator showed me that it checks out.